Really appreciate it. Oh, no problem. So we were talking a bit uh, before the news about uh, you know Twitter, social media, that sort of thing. Really important things for you guys to keep keep that stuff updated and whatnot. It's turned into that for sure. Sure has, hasn't it? Yeah, for sure. It seems like you've got to you've got to keep that cracking. So we're always you know there's the dot com page heyromia.com and so we're always sort of updating that and it's like okay well what do you put on the front page and what goes on the tour part and what goes on the rest and so but at any rate so between that facebook and twitter you try to you know take the out picture and get it up get it up and just make sure it's current because people they want to know what you're doing and especially when we come out to ontario because we only uh get out here so often so you got to make sure that the ontario fans know what we're doing so do you guys have iPhones or Blackberries to try to update everything on the go? Or? Tell them about your uh, last iPhone, Stacy. Oh, well, that <laughs> ended in a, in a spectacular blaze. We were, we were in Sault Ste. Marie, and I was running across the street to a, a subway. Not the subway, because a guy kind of got that. I, I posted the, what happened on my wall after. On not a subway station. Not a subway station, but an actual subway store. Because it is Sault Ste. Marie. So. <laughs> Well, it was a bit 20 people, I guess. <laughs> so I didn't get it. But anyway, he was, uh, so I was running across the street, and I, all of a sudden I come back, and I'm like, I can't find my phone. And and then the big semi goes by, and then I just Stacey hear it, loves her hear phone. it ringing. Like it's like a little puppy. Almost yeah, so a semi ran over my phone, and it still worked. No but way. It, but you couldn't do anything with it. People were calling me, but I couldn't because it was just glass was <laughs> shattered. But it still worked, which I thought was really cool. I actually plugged it in and, and down, you know, made sure that I could sync it up before I, you know, it's lost like, anything. And so, it's but, like a big smashed windshield with people's faces coming up that were calling and being like, "Hey, that person's calling you." <laughs> it's a tribute to the iPhone for sure because it's pretty durable except for the screen. No yeah, kidding. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah. did you guys Twitter the uh, the crow then? Is that up yet? I think I uh, sent it to a friend of mine, and I just put Holy Crow on it. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I have not, I have not Twittered yet. I've got some responses already. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. So it is, yeah, I mean, you get that instant response, right, yeah, from, the, sure. from the fans. I mean, we find the same thing, obviously, with, with you know, getting into Facebook and that sort of thing, too. Yeah, for sure. If one, It's funny, the things that you think would be interesting, um, or that maybe you don't think this is stuff that's not... I think one time I put on there... Um, it was it was odd. I was just like, hey, I'm going for sushi. Anybody have any favorite uh, sushi places? Well, the thing just exploded. It was like, you know, whatever, 50 comments in, in an hour or something. It was like, okay, well, I guess people have a lot of opinions about sushi. <laughs> you know? <laughs> here's, a, here's a picture of us at, like, Niagara Falls. You know, and it's just crickets, you know. Nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing <laughs> exciting. And we're like, wow, Niagara Falls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's always surprising yeah. what uh, people yeah. respond to. And, you know, I, I'm sure you find that with Twitter as well. Yeah. With, you know, you put a picture up and nothing. And, and then, you know, just Twitter about uh, going to What's Subway. The and they think you're going on an actual <laughs> Subway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's, so it's just a part of it now. You know, we just have to be aware and just... You know, you can spend a lot of time doing it, but just the stuff that's important is kind of, you know, because people use sort of the Facebook thing is, you know, everyone's sort of, it seems like everybody is on it. So mm -hmm. you kind of, you sort of have to address it as much as you do our, our HeyRomi.com. So. Yeah, it's kind of interesting that you, you got to keep up with that kind of thing because it's just kind of the way it's gone. Uh, now, you mentioned going across the country and being out in this end of the country a lot. So... You guys taking a van, obviously, right, or, or mode of transportation, bus, or whatever the case may be? We, we did in the summer, um, when we drove out, we did a Cross Canada tour in the summer, and this time um, we we tried something different. We got on a plane, and uh, so far, so good. So um, It's a little more relaxing going across than going across the Canadian Shield in October. Sure, and, yeah. and the reason I bring this up is because Marianne is in here with us as well, and uh, our midday announcer. Marianne had a recent incident uh, with a deer. Oh, I told them. L yeah. Luckily for her, I mean, everything was okay. Just a small bit of damage. Any any incidents on the road for you guys? We hear those headlights oh. are expensive, Marianne. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, the last trip that we came out, we had a lot of incidents. We had a lot of incidents that came out. Actually. We Our van got vandalized in oh Regina. Yeah. By a deer? No. By a crow. We came out and had baseball bats. <laughs> <laughs> you you had a place oh, searching dear. for you last night. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And then we, and then, um, so we had to, you know, take that kind of almost put us back a full day and a half of and especially when you're driving i mean then mm -hmm. we had to drive like 12 hours to just get to where we needed to be at a certain time and Sault and then Saint we Marie. got to Sault Ste. Marie and the kind of the van started having issues so we had to take it in and then the next 
I think we were on the 410 coming back from radio going into Toronto. We're going to go to a Blue Jays game. We were so excited. Darren's first Blue Jays game. And and the, the what happened? Something well, happened. This guy the pulls up beside me and he's waving. I'm just like, yeah, hi. You know, you're in Toronto. I don't know. Crazy people in Toronto. And he's kind of looking mad and he's telling me to roll my window down. So I said, okay. And he goes, your back tire on your trailer is wobbling back and forth. And pull over, you know. And of course, the uh, bearings had gone on the trailer, so. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. so it happened in threes. We were good from there on, so. Yeah. Did you make the game? Uh, we made the fifth inning we got there. Did they win? So, no. No. Oh! <laughs> well, we got to That's the second time I've seen, uh, I was down in Phoenix visiting my brothers, and it, it was the uh, Cardinals were playing, and that's the second time I've seen the Cardinals win, so. Maybe I'm good luck for the Cardinals. Excellent. Uh, maybe, the, it, they're trying to tell you you should be a Cardinals fan and not a Jays fan. Maybe. But I'm not going to switch. <laughs> <laughs> so, so much travel, obviously, right, from one end of the country to the other. Like, it, how important is your off time? Very important. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we've had a couple weeks off right now. Um, so we did, I think we had four days off in June, two days off in July, and um, I don't think we had any days off in August. So we had about three weeks off in, in September, and that was, I mean, it's just nice to... You kind of don't really know what to do with yourself, and you kind of have to get used to your spouses and your everything all over again. And they're I kind of like getting used to you going, what are you Honey, doing what are these? here? Oh, they're my kids. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I remember yeah. you. So it's, it's pretty great just to be home. And, and then, um, you know, and then we actually start liking each other again, too, sometimes. <laughs> Between the what three of us. <laughs> it's hard, exactly. you know, it's hard because you're, you're on the road. And you, this, I mean... I see Rob and Darren probably more than I see anybody else in my life, so um, you really got to sad, isn't work, it? work on that relationship <laughs> as well. I mean, it is a relationship, right? Sure, but, it sure yeah. is, absolutely. I was going to say, it'd probably be easy to get sick of each other, so I'm sure spending some time apart, you start to appreciate the other, the other people, right? Absolutely, yeah. Now, you you kids for anyone? Or is it? Yeah, I have kids. Okay, and uh, Halloween coming up? Yes, Halloween's coming up for them, so they're uh, pretty pretty excited. They were excited uh, at the beginning of September for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we get costume, pumpkins? Right? Can we get pumpkins? Uh, nine and seven. Oh, perfect age then. So, right? Yeah, they're they're loving it, and uh, they're pretty much ready to drive the van. Yeah, I say right. I think so. Nine. Yeah, uh, some new roadies. Yeah, roadies I'm like trying that? to get them. Trend. My oldest is still doesn't like the loud, like the loud music. If it's loud, she just freaks out. <laughs> okay, I'm going. I'm outside. Bye. <laughs> So costumes then for Halloween? Uh, one is going to be Red Riding Hood, and the other is going to be a character called Sabrina from The Sisters Grimm. Ah, very nice. Mm -hmm. It's a book. Kind of a classic character then. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And you guys going out for Halloween at all? Like, are you going trick-or-treating with them and whatnot too? Uh, we don't actually get back until Monday, so... Oh. we got to be at Canada, Canada AM at... Canada uh, AM I think i I got to be up getting ready at 3 AM, so I don't think I'll be doing much yeah. for uh, getting crazy on Halloween was, night in Toronto. It was tough because we, we were going to be back on the Sunday, which was great, because Monday is my oldest daughter's birthday, so... And then Canada AM came in, I'm just like, okay, we have to fly out right after Canada and I've got to be home for a birthday. So I'll be back in time for that. These are the sacrifices though, right? I mean, that, that sometimes the public isn't necessarily aware of. I mean, you know, you guys are out there, you're making great music, and at the same time, it's, a, it's that push and pull, right, of, of life too. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that that kind of last time we were here in Toronto, in, in, we were here in Toronto in January doing a tour with Derek Rattan, and my grandpa passed away. So it's it's tough. It's like people don't really because you can't just leave because you're contracted mm -hmm. to sing and and it's not just my um, my career. It's Rob and Darren's career as well. So you just have to keep everyone's you know lives at the top of you know your head as well as you're th you're thinking of your yourself, but you have to think of them as well. So. So when you guys are all done touring, then is it sort of head home, take a few weeks off, and then you know back into the studio again, or how does that work? We're gonna start writing again right away to um, for the new album. Um, I know we just released this one in June, but you know, you're always say. thinking. You're always thinking ahead, right? You sure. gotta be. You know, you, you don't want to wait too long between CDs, and so you're just. Um, we're really excited to go back to Nashville and actually do some writing again. So I wanted to ask as well, uh, because we, we've had a few people on and we've, we've talked about this before. Uh, always been in music, what, what were jobs for you guys before kind of thing? I was selling uh, cowboy boots at Lamley's Western Wear in Alberta. And I was actually a bartender and um, what else did I do? 
couple things, but you know, I have high, high, high respect for retail mm -hmm. people and any waitress that we come across. So it's uh, they get treated pretty good by us when we come in. Um, I was a lifeguard, <laughs> and I still remember how to swim. Thank God. Uh, and but pretty much as as, as long as I've been. In, an adult, I've made a living off of playing piano and singing. Mm -hmm. yeah. You've been an adult? Yeah, well, it's been six months. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Uh, what did I do? Uh, construction work, mostly. That's uh, pretty well what it was for me. And I, yeah, not too exciting there. <laughs> <laughs> Professional no. smack talker. Yeah. <laughs> but no, like, horror stories. And Horrible jobs, or you know, well, it was, fired, and it was a fire. No, I've never been fired. I don't think uh, it was sewer and water, so it was kind of a crappy job. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> gives I, you an appreciation, though, right, for the music. Yeah, and well, the when I get when I get down do? on on the whole road thing, we'll drive by inevitably drive by some construction. Yeah. Like yesterday, when we were in <clears> Niagara Falls, it's wet and it's you know a little cold, and there's guys you know digging, fixing stuff, and it's like I could be doing that. Mm -hmm. are good. And you just have so much. You have so much respect for them for for doing their job, um, and but you just it, you have a, you just have a new appreciation for for what what you do as well. I mean, it's just with anything. I mean, I don't think a lot of people could do our job, yeah. and they you know because we're we're gone so much, and so people that you know being around with their family, if that's important to you, you can never do what we do. You know, so it's it's a it's a it's different. And people you know don't really look at. Um, jobs sometimes for what they actually are so absolutely yeah, yeah. all that perspective on both sides a for sure bit, yeah a little bit of normalcy in our world would be fantastic people just see the glamour <laughs> of us getting up at seven in the morning and coming and singing on the radio and <laughs> hanging out with uh, a couple of radio geeks yeah <laughs> so we'll be back with hey romeo in a moment and it's 8:50 right now